All right, guys, no friends here. Right, um, in my five favorite fire started video, I mentioned that I had emergency tinder pouch. Um, it's not really a pouch, it's like a little bag type thing. I do keep it in the rucksack, I have got it in this one now. I did have it in the big world rucksack, and now I've transferred it into this one. I am moving slowly everything into this rucksack, and um, I'll show you that one quickly. Right, to get to it, I have to unclip that one, unclip that one. Unclip these, but make sure they're unlocked as well. Hold the two ferro rods. That undoes. Then there's a little zip back here. Open that up. And there it is. That's it. That is my emergency tin pouch. And there's Dolby Dog, as you can see. <laughs> In the background. Right. It's not very big. It's not very heavy. If anybody thinks I should cut out some of the stuff, let me know, and I will, basically. Right, to start off with, as I said, doing my tint in that five um, thing video, I have the waxwood stick, I have the fat rope stick, the gem one, fast one, I think it is. Three pieces of fatwood. The last two of the Mad, Jew Mad Dog Jewels. I'm hoping to get some more of them soon. And at the very bottom is these plugs, the tender plugs as well. I am going to be adding some Mad Dog Jewel, um, Mad Dog Jewel, some Mad Dog Wicks to this kit now because now I've got, I've got it open. I might as well get into it. I might as well put them in. So yeah, that's basically everything I have in my emergency, my emergency, my emergency tinder pouch. As I said, it's not very big. It's an old peg bag. Basically, it came with the um, tarpaulin, the DD 3x3 tarpaulin. So I thought I'd repurpose it because I don't actually keep the pegs in that. As you know, I keep the pegs right there. So, yeah, that's everything, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you would carry an emergency tinder bag. Um, I still have my friend's tinder tin. Give me a second, I'll grab that quickly. So I've still got my friend's Tinder tin, as you all know, this is the one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, I don't. I, I want to stick it back in, but at the same time I don't know if I want to. But I might just do that, I might take my one out, my stuff out, all this. All this stuff, and I might just put that in. But then again, I might just add a few bits to this. And then put this in. That's what I might actually do. Actually, I might add some. I might add some of these. So the Mad Dog jewels we might just sit in there all the time. This won't even. I don't think it's even fit. We fit in this little bag. No, too small. So that's what I might do. I might change it to this tin. So yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me would, would you do that, or tell me if you think I'm just being overboard again, because I know I'm going overboard on certain things at the moment. Yeah, I went through my ex girlfriend's works up yesterday and I found a few things and I would show that in the next coming uh, next upcoming videos. I'm hoping everybody's doing i I'm hope there yeah, I'm hoping everybody's safe. I'm hoping everybody's doing well in these times. I know it's hard at the moment what's going on. I know it's hard to get out and about. I know soon the UK might be going down into a full on lockdown where you can't do exercise at all. I know that's coming. It it's hard out at the moment. It's hard for me, it's hard for everybody else. But I'm hoping everybody's fine and I'm hoping everybody's doing well. So please stay safe and thank you everybody who's supporting everybody at the moment. Thank you for everybody who's keeping everybody else safe and we will highly appreciate you and thank you is not really the word to start with and never will be the word because you've done too much for us all. So we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.